welcome to apatex pass j meters uh, tutorial okay so today you are going to learn html assertions okay so we have covered these main assertion response assertions duration assertion size assertion bean cell assertion okay xpath assertion okay this bfs assertion is not available from apache 3.1 which is a deprecated okay so this compare assertion uh, should not use while using uh, load testing the particular http request or web services or anything why because it will consume more uh, ram as well as cpu so space also it will consume so that's why we are ignoring this compare assertion but today you are going to learn html assertion so what is this html assertion means the html assertion allows the users to check the html syntax of the response data okay why we have to check this one why because what are the data web page is uh, developed with the help of html uh, code languages okay so you can check whether the, that particular web page is developed as per w3 uh, rules or not so whether it is uh, html in syntax something is missing so anything is uh, included extra so which is not following the w3 organization rules like web development okay same like this you can verify particular web page with the help of html assertion okay so let's open a jmeter i have open already okay so here i have added html assertion this you have to add okay assertions html assertion okay after adding HTML session, you will get this control panel window, so which is having name, okay, comments, and uh, TD settings tidy, okay, doc type should be omit or auto and uh, strict or loose, okay, and uh, you can use format HTML you want to check, or XHTML you want to check, or XML file you want to check, okay, here you can see if you want to write the file with the help of errors only errors you can use warnings also you can use i will use errors then i will tell you so how you can know whether it is having particular errors or not just you have to provide your path okay no need of creating any files you can save it in txt format okay let me check once let me remove this one it will automatically create the file okay, otherwise we will create okay and let me clear this one and run your jmeter test plan okay the start it will run each and every http request so it is done so assertion did tidy parse error is 26 tidy parts warning is 235 so which is allowed is 0 allowed is 0 okay for it is giving responsive code is 200 it is giving proper response is coming but when coming to this html code what are the code it is developed the web page that is having proper html syntax or not it will give you the details okay let me open a folder so this one i have saved it is showing us line 2 column warning unknown attribute xml and you can check just uh, copy this one and you can go to here then search paste it here just find it's showing us this is what are the data it is giving it is not as per html rule so this should not be there so like this you can verify each and everything to xml in this data okay let's go to here and paste it here and click on find so it is giving this data so what are the here using so the w3 organizations the same like the, it is not following the proper data so unknown attribute this is having unknown attributes okay so and doc type is given as empty it is showing as doc type let me check once doc type is given as empty what it is showing doc type is given as empty but it is giving html okay so it is showing us nothing has given given okay and it is showing to input stream document contain look like xhtml 1.0 transitional so which is developed with the view of xhtml okay and uh, it is showing document as errors that must be fixed before using html tidy to generate tidy up okay see you are giving gl you may also 
is helpful accessible your pages okay so like this you can verify your data okay let me change it to xhtml and close this one just delete your file okay so i will give you for each and every url so that you can understand where actually it is having problem okay, save and run in this url html page it is having problem so that's why it is not coming okay let me see here it is also saving saving same details so i want to apply for this one xstm also it is giving so like this you can use this html assertion to verify whether the page is developed with the proper html syntax or not okay okay let me add for here assertion html assertion okay let me take the file same file and uh, Okay, just give here okay errors only html omit okay let me save this one okay and uh, delete this one this file and uh, let me run this one more time here youtube tutorials it is having same 26 warning 343 here it is in so many seen here so these are the lines different different lines it is having errors as well as warnings okay so like this you can verify a particular web page that its HTTP request this URL is developed proper HTML syntax or not okay you can use XML also let me close and run it will give you same like this HTML it is 25 126 so for XML it is giving 126 previously it was XML see everything is giving so how many lines are there in XML format okay, everything it will give you the details the unknown element so as invalid value august so these are okay these are something like this it will give you the details okay end of the tag it is missing this end of the tag so everything it will give you error is missing image tag that having end of the tag is missing for image tag for this image that end of the tag is missing so unexpected div you are using in break lines okay li okay must be fixed then on tdf of version okay like this you can use html version to verify particular web page developed as per html syntax or correct or not okay the thank you thank you for watching my video in next lesson we will see this one is done right next lesson we will see this uh, xml assertions okay okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and uh, please provide your valuable comments or please like and please share my videos thank you thank you for watching